So, this is my MP3 player for the summer 2011 class of E47 Press Play. As you can see right now, this is the blinking real-time clock functionality that also serves as a runtime counter for the play functionality in the MP3 player. Right here is a milliampers meter that I salvaged from a place called Weird Stuff in Sunnyvale, and it used to print out um, the milliamper readouts of a 1 8th inch per hour uh, on paper, and I converted it so that the needle will bounce along to the volume of the music. And interestingly enough, the second part I used is a Nokia 5110 telephone. Oddly enough, the Nokia 5110 LCD is what we actually used in our project, so I decided to fit the LCD with the breakout board inside the Nokia, and that's what's allowing me to get readout functionality uh, of a graphical nature for navigating the menu system. Um, the SD card is on a slot over here. I can actually show you up close if you'd like. Um, I have a SanDisk mini SD adapter, um, and there's the mini SD in here. I've got three buttons. I've got rewind, I've got press play, and fast forward. Um, this used to be the CD slot. It's now used as mounting for the real-time clock, which I should um, also clarify was uh, original Russian Nixie tube that I assembled a kit that allowed me to basically give it a uh, readout just over a uh, plain serial interface. Um, around the back you can see I have a solar panel uh, which is currently helping charge the uh, battery system that it's fitted with. Um, and then down here we have the mp3 decoder in red uh, and then this is uh, another breakout board and there's a teensy underneath that which is driving the whole thing. Um, so pretty much this is my mp3 player and just on a global view my thought with it was to kind of pay homage to a lot of the vintage electronics and you can see the different components I've used and now for the big one if you haven't figured out by now it's the Mac G4 cube, Power Mac G4 cube they called it back then. It was a previous Apple computer that only had one button, that was the power button and that was uh, capacitive but for more reasons than that it failed. It was expensive and it was also slow. So I repurposed these obsolete or uh, discontinued products into something new and really made use by interfacing some of the different things together into brand new purposes. So this is my mp3 player and thanks for watching.